Walking can help you sleep better. Walking leads to weight loss. Walking makes your calves strong and your bum pretty. You already know the drill. The internet is filled with these common benefits of walking. This video is different. I'll discuss 5 benefits of walking you didn't know existed. You'll find out how walking helps you become smarter, how it impacts schizophrenia, and how walking in outdoor heritage places increases your self-esteem. But first, like this video and subscribe to the Fitness D channel to grow our family. 1. Walking in high natural and heritage value green spaces can increase your self-esteem and mood. One study shows that walking in green spaces such as parks and natural areas provides additional benefits than regular walking. This practice can improve self-esteem, mood, and overall mental health. As the authors of this study suggest, contact with nature has been shown to improve psychological health by reducing stress, enhancing mood, and replenishing mental fatigue. But there is more than that. This study underlines that walking in green spaces with heritage value increases self-esteem and mood. The participants scored significantly higher after visiting the sites, decreasing their feelings of anger, depression, tension, and confusion. Therefore, the authors believe that the environment you walk in is extremely important to motivate youth so you can escape a sedentary lifestyle. 2. Walking with someone can enhance the psychological benefits of walking. Walking in outdoor environments may have positive psychological effects. It can reduce stress, improve mood, and enhance cognitive function. The presence of a companion during the walk can also enhance these benefits. One study researched 20 university students taking two 40-minute walks in different environments. The routes had different amounts of greenery, traffic, buildings, people, and water proximity. This study concludes that the psychological benefits of a brisk walk depend on the influence of the immediate social context and features of the outdoor urban environment, including natural features such as greenery and water. There are several explanations for that. Greenery and water have a calming and soothing effect on our senses, reducing stress and promoting relaxation. Besides, the visual beauty of natural surroundings with lush green plants, vibrant flowers, and serene water bodies can evoke feelings of awe, inspiration, and tranquility. The sound of flowing water, rustling leaves, and birdsong add to the sensory experience, enhancing the positive effects on mood and mental well-being. All this promotes mindfulness and gratitude. Last but not least, walking with a companion can make the activity more enjoyable and engaging. Social interaction, bonding, and emotional support are the cornerstones of mental health. And sharing the experience with a companion can also create a sense of accountability and motivation to continue walking regularly. 3. Walking is essential for public health. A systematic review highlights that walking is a prevalent form of physical activity with numerous health benefits. It helps improve cardiovascular health, maintain a healthy weight, reduce the risk of chronic diseases, and enhance mental well-being. The review authors underline that walking should be promoted in all population groups regardless of age or sex. How are those benefits interconnected? Regular walking improves cardiovascular health, which in turn enhances physical endurance and enables individuals to engage in more intense physical activities, leading to greater calorie burn and weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight through walking reduces the strain on the cardiovascular system, decreasing the risk of heart disease and other chronic conditions. Regular physical activity, including walking, can help prevent or manage conditions like type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, osteoporosis, and metabolic syndrome. These chronic diseases are often associated with a sedentary lifestyle and can be mitigated by incorporating walking into daily routines. Walking's positive impact on mental well-being can motivate individuals to continue engaging in physical activity, leading to better overall health outcomes. The reduction in chronic disease risk achieved through walking contributes to improved mental well-being by alleviating the stress and negative emotions associated with chronic health conditions. And since walking is a powerful, affordable, and risk-free weapon against chronic disease, another study points out that walking is essential for public health. As a result, more public health initiatives should place walking at its core. 4. Walking in nature can become a valuable mental health practice in the future. Walking in forest areas has been found to have psychological benefits. It can reduce stress levels, improve mood, and enhance overall well-being. One study with 585 participants underlines that, quote, walking through forest areas decreased the negative moods of depression dejection, 
tension anxiety, anger hostility, fatigue, and confusion, and improve the participant's positive mood of vigor compared with walking through city areas. Furthermore, a significant correlation was found between participants' trait anxiety levels and their changes in the subscale of depression dejection. The authors of this study point out that the urban population is expected to grow to 69% by 2050. Simultaneously, urban living is connected to a 39% higher risk for mood disorders and 21% higher risk for anxiety. People living in cities are also likelier to take prescription drugs for anxiety, depression, and psychosis. The authors conclude that, quote, forest environments are expected to have very important roles in promoting mental health in the future. Other studies researching the therapeutic benefits of walking in urban and rural settings found the same thing. Walking in natural environments, such as rural areas and parks, has restorative effects on both mental and cognitive aspects. The authors claim their study has solid policy implications for doctors prescribing exercise for patients with mild to moderate depression. And another paper proves the benefits of walking for individuals with schizophrenia spectrum disorders. The study found that walking is a beneficial physical activity for individuals in this category. The paper included 10 trials from three countries, pointing out that walking can reduce the patient's weight, improve cardiovascular health, and enhance overall well-being. That is important because antipsychotics used for schizophrenia treatment can produce weight gain, heart issues, and mood disorders. 5. Walking has cognitive benefits. One study researching the cognitive benefits of walking focused on natural versus built environments. The paper underlines that walking outdoors, particularly in natural surroundings, can enhance cognitive function and improve performance in cognitive tests compared to walking indoors. This research notes two potential reasons. One is that outdoor walking led to faster mental restoration, as measured by the Stroop test. According to Lesley University, this test measures a person's selective attention capacity and skills, processing speed, and alongside other tests to evaluate overall executive processing abilities. Besides, the test participants wore EEGs. These machines revealed that outdoor walkers got into more heightened meditative states than indoor walkers, and these levels lasted long after their walks were over. That's important because these heightened meditative states increase attention, memory, and problem-solving ability. Even famous doctor Andrew Huberman recommends an outdoor walk first thing in the morning. He explains that the morning sun affects the optic visual flow, which influences the activity of your amygdala. The amygdala is the part of your brain responsible for processing your emotions. According to Huberman's studies, morning walks reduce neural activity in the amygdala, thus calming down anxiety and depression. Moreover, Huberman points out that getting sun in your eyes in the morning signals to your brain that it's time to be alert. And that signal, coupled with a release of cortisol and adrenaline, significantly benefits your cognitive performance during the day. That's because you can be more focused, productive, and open to problem solving. So, which walking benefits did you not know about? Which ones were you subconsciously benefiting from? And what other little known benefits of walking are you taking advantage of? Let's talk in the comments. But before we do, remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel to grow our fitness D family.